Good morning, friends, family, and viewers. So this morning we are going over to Mama Rhodes' daughter's house, my sister from another mother, Erin's um, house, and see her. And then we're going to a street fair by her house. So that should be fun and exciting. I'll take you guys along. You can see what's going on. And here we go. See you guys later. These are the kind of things that you see in street fairs. Yeah. Hey guys, so um, I just got a phone call about over an hour ago that daddy is in heaven and all is well. So yeah, we went to the street fair as you guys saw and we are back home and we're making Yahtzee dice, yard Yahtzee dice. We're gonna stain them and do that kind of thing. So this is what they look like now. And then you guys can see what they look like later. So these are the blocks that we stained. They're obviously not done. Just to put the little white dots on them to make them dice but they have to dry first so they're out here drying pretty cool huh I think they are first time I've ever stained anything so I like that okay guys is this not the cutest retriever you've ever seen this is Bridger Rhodes yeah he's such a good boy Bridger, can you say hi say hi I'm gonna speak He's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, right. He speaks. Can I speak? No? I speak. No, maybe not. No. Oh, speak. Speak. He's like, I'll sit. Speak. So you guys can see this is what I have. Speak. No, he's like, I'll just sit. Ah, okay. oh, there you go. Spoiled boy. Mm -hmm. I'll spoil you while I'm here. So that's Bridger. Pretty cute boy, isn't he? I think so. Hey. Hey guys, so, um, what a day. Honestly, like, what a day. It hasn't been a bad day. Um, yes, it's been a sad day. Um, getting the news that my dad's in heaven. Yeah, that's sad. But honestly, I personally um, can rejoice in the fact that my dad is no longer suffering, that he's in heaven. Um, we knew he was going to heaven, and for us as Christians, that's such a relief, such a joyous thing. Um, we know he's not suffering. He's whole again. Um, and when I say whole, I've uh, been taught that you get a new body in heaven. The old is gone, the new is here. Um, no more pain, no more sadness, no more suffering. And that's what my dad gets to experience. As we've said many times today, he's having a party in heaven, dancing with everybody. So yeah, we're, we're thankful that he's there. We're sad as a family and we're all very sad. So I'm trying to figure out the best lighting here. I think if I go this way, it'll be better. Um, but honestly, I shed a few tears. No, I'm not gonna play it like it's cool, because it's not. But I'll be real, I've said shed my tears over my dad. I've been super sad. But today was a great day. Um, I gotta go to the street fair, I gotta go see Erin and her kids, meet them. Well, meet them in person, let's put it that way. Um, we paint, we stained wooden blocks to make Yahtzee blocks. We went to Michael's. We, I played with the dog. Um, you know, overall it's been a good day. Um, made lots of phone calls, talked to lots of people about dad's death, some more out of state family. Um, but hey, that's what you do when somebody dies. Yeah make those phone calls, you answer those phone calls, you know. 
you know how it is. If you haven't experienced it, I'm sorry. Um, it's never easy to have to experience a death in the family. Um, but honestly, I must say that knowing that my dad was going to die, preparing myself for his death was easier than finding out unexpectedly that he died. Um, I've done that. That's how I've dealt with all the deaths in our family. Um, up until now, I get a phone call or I'm sat down and we have this big discussion that so-and-so's died or whatever. And it's heartbreaking. It's hard. It's sad. It's tragic. Yes, it's hard and it's sad with my dad dying. But we were able to go say our goodbyes to him. Like, honestly... I couldn't have asked for it any other way. I'm thankful that he went peacefully. So, with that being said, it's 8.50 and I'm getting up at 6 a.m. to get on the road and head down to Salem for an hour um, to go to YWAM. So, um, I've been waiting for this. I'm super excited. I know my dad wanted me to go. So, um, thanks for coming along today. Thanks for your prayers and your support and your words of encouragement. I really appreciate it all. Um, so, uh, I'm tired. I'm feeling more tired now than I did yesterday when I'd had no night two nights of no sleep. Explain that one to me. But, yeah. So, anyways, I'm gonna say toodles for tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.